was modeled after actually someone's home. So yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this was an actual uh, quote that we did and just added the $10,000 incentive. So it, um, it, it was going to produce 104% of their home energy. So it would be a net zero home and they were going to, let me see, the ROI was going to be in nine years. So they were saving $178 a month putting in solar. And, mm. and that's with a $10,000 incentive, they'd be saving $77,000 over the 30 years. So there's over 400,000 meters here in New Brunswick. And if we were to just take a small fraction, if we could get 20% of the meters here in New Brunswick, we could create, what was it? To do an average size yep. on each house, which with the the distribution capacity, because we're we would be on the uh, you know the, the smaller voltage side of the MB Power or St John Hydro, so twenty percent. That's not a huge uptake. Eighty thousand projects. If we had twenty percent of the meters, and uh, if we the average cost is twenty five thousand dollars, that that would be to offset the home. We're looking at two billion dollars here in New Brunswick, and twenty percent of that is labor cost to install hmm. we could create 727 direct solar installing jobs here in the province and they would have a $55,000 a year paying job for 10 years so we're looking at a 10-year window of just 20 percent of MB powers or of New Brunswick's yep. meters so that's what we try to do when we go into the home and we introduce the the app so that monitoring app is a way of self-monitoring you know what's going on in your house why is your bill this amount you can't really put your finger on why uh, it was three hundred and fifty dollars this month uh, because you only get a bill in 30 days and it shows you the whole month in a snapshot on a piece of paper and there's no yeah. there's no intelligence there you can usually save about 20 percent a year just, just by being just by knowing aware and yeah. it's it's such smart technology when we uh, we need solar installers, solar designers, project managers, inspectors, engineers, researchers, manufacturers, distribution, transportation, uh, heavy equipment, manufacturing, everything, accounting, sales force. Like people keep people are afraid that this industry is going to take jobs or ruin jobs from these other industries, but we need these already qualified uh, specialists to come and join this industry. Like we need them, we need help. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're, they're really fun, exciting jobs to do. So, you know, it's, it's not taking away jobs. It's just moving them to an, a different industry. Well, we hired a bunch of guys that were out in the oil industry and yeah. yes. in other places. And a lot of the people that are, that do have jobs out there now or are looking for employment back here or something different.